Run of Stage podcast at Novo Rock 2023. We're your hosts, Connie and Vicky from On The Roadcast, and we hope you enjoy. It's day number three at Novo Rock. It's Friday. Um, I'm wearing sunglasses for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> We're here with All Faces Down, who just played the opener at the Blue Stage, and they kicked ass. Yes. Thank it's you so such much. a great Thank show. How Watching are you? from the side. Blown away. How awesome. are you guys? How was it for you? How was the gig? Um, yeah, it was awesome. Like to be on on um, on this huge stage is just something different, you know. It's um, something that we really appreciate. Um, and you know, it was a um, like at first uh, when you arrive and everything, it's it's a lot of stress. It's not like really chilled out. It's more like you know you have to work, 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 and then you go on stage and then everything is just you know just gets blown away. Yeah. And then you just do your thing. And we really enjoyed it. We had a lot of people there, uh, so we couldn't be happier. I forgot to ask names. <laughs> yeah, what's your name? Uh, Flo. Lucas. Felix. Flo, Lucas, Felix. Connie. Vicky. Vicky. Still. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Um, you said when you go on stage, it's all it all gets blown away. Do you have that certain blur sensation like everything is like that's what I had when I was on stage like everything is so surreal and you're not even feeling like you're really there like it's like you're in a in a little uh, how would you say it in a bubble it's in it, a, it's bubble. a bubble it's it, it definitely is a, a, a bubble it's like um, you know it's like there's so many processes going on like on stage uh, before the show and then uh, when the intro kicks in into your ears you know with the in-ear system um, then it just you know doesn't matter anymore you just go on stage and you feel like uh, uh, you know a, a unity basically you just do your thing and you look at the people and you enjoy what you're doing and it just means so much to you uh, that it's just it's a it's a crazy experience I don't know how to describe it for, for me it's literally uh, blurry because I usually I wear glasses <laughs> and I take and I take them off while on stage so everything goes blurry. But you know where uh, downstage and downstage yeah, yeah. is still. Yeah, I have so some you know of the... No, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that blind, so it's fine. <laughs> Good. What about you, Felix? How was it for you, the experience on stage? I mean, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I tried to like take a few moments in between, like in between songs, to, to memorize it, because like it's it's over really fast, mm -hmm. and I. Kind of need something to hang on for the next weeks, I guess. Right. So yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you did bring a whole camera crew to <laughs> have some memories to hang on. To. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. You're fine. Hi. That is true. Yeah. I mean, a show like that, you have to. Mm -hmm. Let's say like absorbing right. the feeling and stuff yeah. like that. So, yeah. And it's also like we've played uh, like a lot of festivals in in all over Europe, but to play Nova Rock <clears throat> so close to our main, uh, like to our hometown. Uh, it's such a big deal for us that it's just something special and it's not comparable for us with any other festival that we play in Europe. It's just this is the stage where we belong, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's that's something that is really beautiful and close to our hearts. Was it your first time at Nova Rock? We've played Red Bull stage a couple of times, which was awesome and we're really grateful for the opportunity that we had to play those, those shows. And it just feels like, you know, it feels kind of like a ladder. Uh, you just do your thing, and the first, like the first time we played, was a good show, but a smaller show, and then the whole way leads us to where we stood today. So this is just like a, a crazy thing, and we're like overwhelmed for everything that happened. It's like Lucas said, the Nova Rock is like a second hometown show for us. And if you watch videos of older shows from us, from 2013, I think was the first show. Then we played 2015 and 17 and 19 and now today. And you see how we progressed as a band and also how the festival moved moved up, how the Red Bull stage uh, grew. And today uh, to finally stand on the on the main stage, on the on the blue stage was really special for so us. So it's also your 10 year Nova Rock anniversary. It actually is. Yeah, it's yeah. Awesome. Yippee, Which is awesome. awesome. What's your favorite memory from Nova Rock Festival throughout the years? Seeing another band or playing yourself, or just I don't know, is there anything that sticks out that I don't you know, always like, remember? Like, for me personally, so 
like the usual way, like as an as an Austrian band, it's usually you know when you're 15, you start out going to festivals, and the first thing is you know let's just go to Nova Rock, and then uh, you have this first festival experience, which is like really memorable, and then uh, you know you go a second time, a third time, and then you start going there as an artist. Uh, so like the first time as an artist was really awesome. Um, and in general, like it's just a, a really special festival because it's not something that is like close to a city or anything. It's just uh, like really uh, in the outback. I don't know how to say it, but like like it's just in the desert. In the middle of it's, nowhere. It's just this festival is how a festival is meant to be. It's just a community hanging out somewhere like really far away from civilization, and I mean, that is something awesome. In you know? theory, there is a little town. But I know it is. Yeah. I mean, but it's yeah. Sure, but you get I know what you mean. You get like, the yeah. you get the Woodstock feeling. Yeah. And for me, like that one thing that was really crazy is I don't. I think it was like two thousand. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was a huge sandstorm. We went there as as, as just like uh, guests. fans and guests, yeah. Um, and that was amazing. Like they had this huge sandstorm going over uh, the the whole festival, the whole camping camping site. And everyone was just like, uh, the world is going to end right now. Let's just have some fucking fun. And it was awesome. That was like, I think 2014 or something like that. Apocalypse like, approaching. Yeah, <laughs> apocalypse approaching. Awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. May I steal this for yeah. a second? Is there a band on today's running order that you're looking forward to see? A special band? Uh, sorry. I'm looking forward to see uh, I Prevail and Papa Roach. Those are my two must watch. Right. Uh, Good one. And scooter. And scooter. Of course, of course, <laughs> yes. Uh, must watch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we actually heard there's gonna be um, a little after party in some kind of container backstage where uh, Scooter, HP Baxter, is gonna DJ. Okay. We'll let yes. you know if nice. we find it. That, that's awesome. <laughs> I would love to be there. Um, like in in general as as well, Papa Roach is just has been a great influence on, on, on our music and what we do and, and, and just like you know, they've been around for a long time, which is such awesome. Such a great live band also. And such a great live band. So we're definitely looking forward to, to, to hearing that. Um, and I pretty well as well as well because they have like um, uh, like what they did in the last couple of years for Metalcore is something that is really like stands out, um, in, in my opinion. Uh, and of course, like a Bilderbuch, because an Austrian band headlining a stage like that is, is a big deal, big thing, yeah. um, which is awesome. And like we've played uh, with with Bilderbuch like ten years ago at like really small festivals or more like fifteen years ago, really small festivals and small shows. Um, and just seeing them succeed in what they do is a beautiful thing. So we're looking okay. forward to that as well. And final sound of fish food. <laughs> All right. So what is really stoked about that? I remember last year um, we were at the festival with Ruskaya. Um, we were working for them back then, and you guys played a show too. And you, Felix, also played the opener with your like what was it, country song the song singer, 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 singer I was like, that's the guy from wait. What? And, and I was like, what? that's the guy from the other band. I'm <laughs> I'm so sure. Should I mention it? We can still cut it out. I'm I'm so. Didn't you play in Lenin? Lenin? No? no. Why do you remember? <sighs> no, but we have a connection. Was it conservatory? Yes. That yeah, was no, the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, all right, all right. Yes, all we uh, were in the same school. <laughs> 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 but I, somehow I still yeah. believe that you played in that band. You should have, because they were also really amazing. <laughs> uh, where, I think. But yeah, fun thing. You play you know, all pieces down and then you also have a solo singer-songwriter project, which is very different from that, but that's cool. I guess everyone does some other side projects, but as All Faces Down as your main band, whereabouts have you been touring so far? What was the furthest away you went with your music? Uh, I believe UK. What it, it was uh, in Russia. Russia. And we played. Uh, was it Ulyanovsk? I think we went so far to the east. Uh, we are almost almost at the Asian border. Wow. Yeah. You that drove was, or you were We flying? drove, yeah, you it was a, a three week tour, I guess. Uh, we did two tours in, in Ukraine and Russia, so um, this was, I think, the, the farthest away where, where we've been from home. Well, for an Austrian band, that's yeah. very far away. <laughs> yeah, the, for, yeah. Do you have any like crazy tour story from the past couple of years? 
that you want to share. That's what we crazy. basically do on our podcast. It says crazy, fucked up, and hilarious tour stories. Anything that comes yeah. to mind that yeah, you are when, allowed to when share? We played in Russia. Uh, we we had some big venues, really really nice places, and then we played in in places. One one uh, place was a, a boat house or something like that. We saw the guy who organized the show pay off the cops, so they leave us alone. We had to carry our stuff over a bridge that was like just one block of wood, this tiny, uh, to the boat, yeah, to carry all our equipment there. And yeah, it was, it was, that was a crazy show. <laughs> and, and one more thing, uh, we played a, um, a Scandinavian tour a couple of years ago. Uh, with Normandy, uh, a band that we have like uh, really close contact in, and there we had a, a like a venue, uh, really nice venue for like I don't know five, five or four, uh, five, four or five hundred people, and, and then we went into the backstage area, and for some reason there was like a huge, bouldering wall, like climbing wall, and then everyone like started climbing in in the backstage area. Uh, which was really funny, like the, the, the whole setting, it was just like a weird experience to have like a backstage, uh, backstage area with a, a climbing wall. And those are like the things that just like tend to happen um, if you're on tour, uh, things that really surprise you. And that's something that we enjoy a lot about, about touring, especially about touring all over Europe, you know, because like a lot of people, a lot of bands who, who are quite successful actually, but only like try to tour in Austria, Switzerland, Germany, like the whole German speaking area. And for us, it was always like, we want to get out there and play like all over Europe. And we did that. And it was just so rewarding to have like experiences in different countries, different cultures, different people, different backstage areas, stages whatsoever. Um, so that's something that we really enjoy and that we, we hope to do in the future as well. That's a big task. There are so many good Austrian bands, but the step to go from the German, the GSA area, German, Austria, Switzerland, to other countries, European countries, mm -hmm. that's a big step. And not a lot of bands are able to make it. Yeah, that is true. It's like, there, it, 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 it depends on the focus that you have. Like if you do, if you have like uh, German speaking music, then it, it's, it's easier to have like to get out there in, in, in German speaking countries. But on the other hand, it's you're focused on those countries. And for us, like we have English lyrics, we sing in English, so it's it's like really international music. So it's harder uh, where we are right now, like in, in where where we are situated in, in Germany as well. And like it's harder to 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 really achieve something. But on the other hand, just the world is your oyster. Or how do you say that? Like like you can do whatever you want to do in all of the world, and that's something that that was always like our direction. We want to go. Uh, all over Europe, all over the world, and we're trying to achieve that. You do. May I steal this one? again? Um, you mentioned cultures from abroad when you go on tour that you enjoy this and that, yeah, love the experiences that you have abroad. As you can see, Connie and I are big snackers. Uh, you can see this not only awesome. from this, but also from this. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we love snacks and on tour uh, it's a lot about eating also so if you get good food you're happy and the band is happy and they play good so food is always a very important thing and you mentioned cultures from abroad so what food do you really appreciate when you're on tour maybe abroad food or food from Austria what's your number one go-to tour snack is there any cravings like crazy shit cravings and, like Crazy shit cravings, I don't know, but what we had in Sweden, we had this like um, like salmon uh, salmon uh, bread paste or something like that, and that was really awesome. Like I had that all the time. Uh, that's something that I remember. I don't know what else. Well, I'm, I'm most of the times so I'm scared of, of the foreign food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, yeah. That was like a crazy <laughs> and I sometimes, or well, most of the time, I just stick to crisps and, and, yeah. and knabba mossy or something, yeah. just to stay safe. Like sausages and, and... What about you? I'm not sure. He's the only vegetarian in the band. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but I mean, it, it was but, hard like 10 years ago, but yeah, it's, no, it's, it's getting it's much better. Yeah. yeah. 
You don't have to live off of cucumbers and carrots. There's actual snacks for yeah. vegetarians. <laughs> I remember because you mentioned Russia. For us on tour, Russia was not good. I mean, you get like fish salad stuff for breakfast, which is weird. And then the the food. Georgie was, was in heaven probably because yeah. he eats the. He's Russian. He eats the weirdest he, shit. <laughs> it's breakfast. weird. He eats the weirdest shit. And then for us austrians uh it was kind of tough and then we had we got like barbecue stuff but like burnt and not really good so russia was i don't know for me it was not a good food experience but maybe it's just me we had this one show where uh we said that we have a vegetarian on our team <laughs> and they said yeah, yeah we have potatoes for the vegetables <laughs> oh, really funny. nice Aww. potato snack yeah <laughs> only potatoes, potatoes for the vegetables <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really funny. Yeah, you're good. We got you. I hope you like potatoes. Yeah, yeah. actually, actually it was fun because so like a few of the nights, uh, I just had to like go to the supermarket and get something without yeah. meat. But but yeah, that's some time ago, so long time ago. got better. Sorry, what's your next stop? What's your next tour stop? Or where's your next show at? More festivals. Well, the next one uh, is Lucas forgot. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. <laughs> uh, I'm not 100% sure. I, I know we have some uh, smaller festivals coming during summer and we want to focus more on Germany in, in autumn, in fall, and have them, some club shows and weekenders and, and small tours. Hamburg uh, as well, I think. Ham Hamburg, yes. Uh, long as drive. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but it should be worth it, yeah. Yeah, it's really, it, it's, it's really cool when you like we, the first time we, we played in Hamburg, we actually had like a sold out venue. It was a smaller venue, but like, uh, I don't know, 150, 200 people. And it's just amazing that because Hamburg is so far away that you usually think, you know, who the hell uh, would just go to all Faces down show in Hamburg is like a thousand kilometers away. And then you go there and then like people are lining up in front of the uh, in front of the venue. That's just like that gives back so much for us. So yeah. it's it's just it's just we're so happy and and uh, appreciative because uh, like the people make it happen, you know. They do. Some. And if you're on those long drives, uh, you're probably in a van together. Is there? Do you guys have like a song that's your band's hype song? <laughs> we have a couple. Usually it's something so crazy. Every band has like so one or two songs. songs, and it's usually something that you would never think. We have this one from Rascal Flats. Life is a highway. That's yeah. our hype song. Yeah, this is awesome. Song. But we like the original version, the yeah. Tom Cochran okay. version. Okay. But the, the Rascal Flatts version is like yeah. the pop version of That's it. That's one, the one big song. Country pop version. We, I love that. We also have this one. It's Miley Cyrus, Party in the USA. <laughs> That's also something that we love. And is it like a crisp? Brown song with uh, like a but it a remix. Like, da, 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 bam, bam, bam. I don't know what's it called, but we always listen to that, and that's always like crazy. Because guys, we need an outro for the episode, and we usually ask our guests the favorite tour song or their okay. hype song. So you have to pick yeah, one. Yeah, life is a hobby, I would say. No, yeah. yeah, we already had that. The thing okay. is, okay. yeah. All right, so the the thing is, song in our playlist it's the, ever. The very first okay. song we have is taken. Something that like uh, Arvin actually told me, uh, like a check yes Juliet. That's something that we go. What? We the Kings check yes Juliet. That's something that we listened to quite a lot a couple of years ago. So that could be possible. State champs as well. Okay. Oh, state champs, love yeah. it. Secrets. Yeah, you gotta pick one song, guys. Okay, all right. You You're decide. Limited to I decide. I decide. Check yes Juliet by We We the Kings. Okay, awesome. Vicky, is there anything else we need to ask the guys before we finally let them go party after playing a show and doing a signing session and doing interviews? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna ask, is there anything you want to tell your fans, your audience, uh, Nova Rock Festival, any, your mom, maybe? Okay. If mom listens to this, All hi, right. mom. So, uh, just in general, um, it's so awesome that we had the opportunity to play here. And that so many people uh, came out for the show at like uh, half past one. So thank you so much for partying with us, for for like starting the day with us, and you know just just stick with us. We're gonna have a lot of new music coming, probably hopefully soon. So um, yeah, let's let's go, let's do it. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you have a great day. And we'll see you washing in April later. All right. Yes. Let's see do it. You. Bye.